Let's have a look at the grid then for our next race of the day. This is based on the results of the earlier pre-93, pre-03 race. This is AJ Owen, therefore, who takes pole in his Honda. Ray West in the Jägermeister BMW alongside him. Second row, Gary Preble, Honda. David Griffin, BMW. Although we didn't see David Griffin in the classic Thunder race. Hopefully he'll make it out for this one. Third row, Don Hughes, Peugeot, Dean Forward, Cosworth. Fourth row, Russell Dack and Andy Cripps in a pair of BMWs. Fifth row, James Ram in the Jaguar XJS and Ross Craig Honda. A pair of Honda Civics, Dan Thackeray and John Taylor on row six. Row seven, more Honda Civics, Phil Wright and Cameron Tunio. Row eight, Charles Coppock, Jaguar, Ian Bauer in his BMW. He'll be one to watch from there. Came through nicely from the back in race one. On the ninth row, Carrie Lewis, Honda Civic and David Howard in his Jaguar XJ12. Then on the tenth row, we have Michael Seaborn with uh, his Jaguar XJ40 alongside David Nixon in the Rover. Vic Hopes Honda starts alongside Ben Mason's BMW. Jamie Primet and Frank Pettit are next in Honda and Renault. Andy Sheraton BMW, Mark Finney in the Vauxhall Astra. Then we'll have Steve Barber in his Honda, where that blank space is, alongside Jake Margulies in his BMW. And the final row, John Hillier in the BMW Estates. Yes, really, if you didn't see it earlier, we'll see it in this one. And Jamie Thwaites in the Alfa Romeo, who sadly was the only non-finisher in our earlier race. Is it going to be a double for AJ Owen then in pre-03? Can he win overall? Can he stop the BMW? It's likely to be a BMW v Honda thrash in this one. After this, we will have a second race for the Volkswagen Racing Cup, Touring Car Trophy and TCR UK. I'll be back to Andy and Paul for that one. Then back with the Classic Touring Car Racing Club, their final race of the weekend, Classic Thunder and Blue Oval Saloon Series. And then the 50 minutes Brick Car Endurance Championship Trophy Class, 50 minutes with a mandatory pit stop. And hopefully we will have the starting drivers through in time for that one from Steve Wood. He says, hoping Steve Wood is listening in to BRC TV. <laughs> All good fun, Steve. How many have we got watching on YouTube? About 1,200 at the moment. We've had 1,300 likes. Bring the cars out onto track very shortly indeed. The marshals in position on the grid, enjoying the sunshine down there. Cars look for from further back on the grid. After problems in... Well, there wasn't really anybody who had problems in race one. As we said, the only retirement, unluckily, was Jamie Thwaites, the Alfa Romeo 155. He pulled into the pits on the final lap. Everybody else finished the race. waiting to see if uh, David Griffin is there in the BMW. No, he's not. So he did have a problem in uh, race one. So we've lost the reigning pre-93 champion. We haven't got David Griffin in the uh, Diet Coke BMW. He must have uh, headed to the paddock to uh, drink a Diet Coke or two, I assume. Other soft drinks are available. I hope he's not taking a leaf out of Ray West's book and is mixing it with Jägermeister, especially not if he's got to drive home. David Griffin, the champion in pre-93 last year. Second place was David Nixon. He won Class C in the Rover last season. And Andy Sheraton was the Class D champion in his Laser Tools E30 BMW. Don Hughes is there, so is Dean Forward. 
There's Russell Dack, the ex-Kumho BMW champion. Andy Cripps, James Ram. Ross Craig is there. Dan Thackeray and John Peerless in their Civics, the older shaped Civic of Phil Wright. There's Ian Bauer. Keep an eye on that red BMW. He could be one to watch coming through. Missing anybody from further back, doesn't look like it. Steve Barber's there, Jake Margulies. Oh, the only car I'm missing at the back is the BMW Estate. John Hillier's not there after I bigged him up. Jamie Thwaites is, though. Take an opportunity to have a look at that lovely Alfa Romeo. Still comments coming in uh, on YouTube. Steve says, good luck Cam Tunio and Jamie Primet in their Honda Civics further back on the grid for this one. Can't read all your YouTube comments because there's just so many of them. Nearly 1,200 of you watching, great to see. John Young says, look at that Alpha. Yes, we did. I think our cameraman lingered on that on purpose. Missing the BMW of David Griffin. Cosworth's there, though. Next Jim McLaughlin car of Dean, Dean Forward. Very successful in the likes of Ford Mustangs and uh, other historic V8 engine rumblers over the years, including the McLaren M8F Can-Am car in Thundersports. So this should leave it fairly straightforward for Ray West in the orange BMW for uh, the pre-93 honours, I would think, unless something happens to that car. Can anyone stop AJ Owen for overall victory? If anyone can, Gary Preble can in the white Honda Civic. Last couple of cars lining up at the back. This will be a 15-minute thrash penultimate race of the weekend for the Classic Touring Car Racing Club. Thanks to their huge amounts of drivers, record grids for them this weekend. Looks like we are in position. The green flag being waved at the back of the grid. The red lights are on and away they go. Great start from the rear wheel drive BMW of Ray West. In the Graham Myers car, he will take up the early lead from AJ Owen and Gary Preble. Going through into fourth is the Cosworth of Dean Forward. Certainly moving forward from his qualifying position as they go towards the complex for the first time. Side by side between the two Hondas for second place, but it is Ray West who's got the lead. AJ Owen has a look up the inside under braking for Village. Good getaway by Andy Cripps once again using the rear wheel drive of the BMW. It's the orange BMW that leads from Owen. Has a look on the inside at Beckett's, not quite room there. Running wide there, Dan Thackeray's Honda Civic. Side by side for the lead. Now is Owen going to be able to get into the lead? He's almost being pushed by Gary Preble there. Preble trying to go between the two of them. Look at this from the... White Honda making it three wide as they come down towards Stowe Corner. Who's going to break first? I think it's AJ Owen who's break first because Gary Preble's there on the inside and he's going to take the lead away. Let's hope they all get round Stowe Corner for the first time in this Laser Tools pre-93 and simply serviced pre-03 touring car race. All round Stowe Corner, OK. And it is Gary Preble who has got the lead in car number one, 91. AJ Owen in second place. Third place for Ray West and he leads the pre-93 cars. They complete the first lap. It's Preble with Owen on his rear spoiler. Fourth place is Dean Forward. Don Hughes in the Peugeot is fifth. Number 148. Sixth is Andy Cripps. James Ram up to seventh in the Jaguar XJS. Line astern as they head towards Abbey for the second time. There's the number 33. That's Andy Cripps in the BMW. Gary Preble has the lead. Puff of smoke there from uh, Dean Forward, Sierra Cosworth. We don't want smoke, we want flames out of that exhaust. Memories of Steve Soper, the days he used to battle Andy Rouse. Already Jamie Thwaites making progress in the Alfa Romeo from the back of the grid. 
not the best of starts for Ian Bauer. He started 16th. And whether he's had another problem, yeah, he's down to 25th place. He's lost 10 places on that first lap, so he's had further problems. Might be a clutch issue getting the car off the line. Don Hughes side by side with the Cosworth. There we see the flames from the exhaust pipe. That's what we like to see. Here's the battle for eighth. Round the outside goes Russell Dack ahead of Ross Craig. David Nixon in the Rovers, repaired his bonnet from earlier on. There's the two Hondas up front. Gary Preble from AJ Owen, pulling away slightly now from Ray West in the BMW. Ray won't mind. Two Hondas in a different championship to them. They're pre-03, he's pre-93. Don Hughes up there in fourth place. He's got ahead of the Sierra Cosworth of Dean Forward. Long way to go, yes, another 12 minutes or so to go. Enjoying the sunshine of Silverstone. And Owen won't mind too much either. He's in a different class to uh, Gary Preble. Preble class D, Owen class B. Ray West in third place, the orange BMW. And it's Hughes. Flash of flame, thank you very much, Dean Forward, in fifth position. You could almost put that Cosworth in the classic Thunder Saloons, couldn't you, with flashes of flame like that? First five have pulled away. There's Andy Cripps under pressure from James Ram, the reigning Jaguar Series champion. We saw him in action in that yesterday. Two second places for James behind Tom Robinson. Behind them, Russell Dack, Dan Thackeray, Ross Craig and John Peerless. A gaggle of hectic Hondas there. Another pair of Hondas at the front. Preble still ahead of Owen. Over the line they go. You can see Don Hughes up there with the Peugeot 306. Chase their way up through Abbey towards Farm, then into Village. Great driving by Gary Preble, who's taken wins in uh, the Castle Coombe Saloon Series and everything from a Rover to a Seat Leon to Peugeot 205s. He's raced all manner of saloon cars over the years, as has uh, his brother Adam. There's Carrie Lewis in his Honda, under fire from Jamie Thwaites, who's carving through the field. Where's he up to? Last count, he was up to 19th, having started from the back. A burn from the stern, from the Alfa Romeo drivers, they say, in American racing. Don Hughes trying to close down. The BMW of Ray West trying to make it pre-03, 1-2-3. Ramsell on the back of Cripps. Here's our three Hondas. Behind them, the older Civic, the Castrol livery car there, that's Phil Wright. Over the line they go onto the Sir Lewis Hamilton straight. 0.2 of a second is the lead gap. So AJ Owen is not holding back here. Just did the best second sector of the race. Under 30 seconds in the second sector. He's closed the gap down to two tenths of a second. Took nearly half a second out of Gary Preble on that last lap, trying to take the overall lead once again. Cosworth dropped back a little, flaming away there. That's what we like to see, Dean Ford. And Cripps, Rab. Dak, Thackeray, John Peerless up the inside there, takes Ross Craig. With the gaggle of Hondas further back behind them, Ben Mason's BMW. AJ Owen has definitely got Gary Preble in his sights here. AJ Owen, the ASM auto recycling Honda. towards Vale. Here's a battle further back. David Nixon in there. Michael Seaborn as well. Preble just a little bit wide. Now AJ Owen's got a run as they come out of uh, Vale up towards Club. Can he take the lead away onto the main straight? They're side by side. He's got him. Good move AJ Owen but Gary Preble's fighting back. Now battle is joined between the two Hondas. He goes out slightly onto the marbles there to the inside of the home straight. Gary Preble fights up the inside but Owen holds him off and he's got the lead. Good driving by both of the Honda Civic pilots. AJ Owen just got the better run out of Vale there on the inside line, was able to get the overlap as they came out of club onto the Hamilton Straits. But now he's having to work hard, Preble fighting back. They're in different classes, so it won't matter for the championship, but uh, they want the glory of an overall race win, as does Ray West behind them in the BMW. Eight minutes of this race to go, so we're not even halfway. Oh, over the grass there goes Ray West. 
got the line wrong out of Beckett's there, trying a bit wide. That'll drop him back towards Don Hughes in that yellow Peugeot. Menacing behind them, and here comes Gary Preble up the outside, trying to retake the lead of this Laser Tools pre-93 and Simply Serviced pre-03 race. Mr Simply Serviced himself, as we mentioned earlier, Simon Beamont, the championship sponsor, not racing. He unfortunately had a crash in his escort in testing at Silverstone earlier this week. The car too badly damaged to be raced. Spun coming out of Stowe Corner and hit the barrier suddenly. Simon's OK, the car isn't. See you back out soon, Simon. Coming up on a back marker here. AJ Owen coming up to lap Jake Margulies with his BMW E30. Kerry Lewis in the Ambient Graphic Civic battling it out with the big Jaguar XJ40. Michael Seaborn sliding his way around there on the marbles on the outside. Vic Hope behind him. I think that's Jamie Primmett fighting up onto their tails as well. Big Jag to the inside. Oh, look out. Big lock up there. That could have been dicey. I thought he was going into the back of Kerry Lewis there. Well controlled. Michael Seaborn in the uh, Castrol style livery, similar to the uh, IMSA GTP Jaguars of the early 90s, raced in America. AJ Owen on the inside, Gary Preble on the outside. Look at the way that uh, Ray West is starting to close back up after, after that uh, little moment earlier on. Six and a half minutes to go. Preble to the inside at Vale. Can he be later on the brakes here again? Owen takes the lights. Good defensive driving. Up on the curb goes Preble. Back marker ahead here. Who is that? Steve Barber's black Honda Civic next for the Ford Anglia racer among others. There's the Alfa Romeo battling with Charles Coppock in the XJ6, that, in the XJS rather. Jamie Thwaites has got the Alfa up to 15th from the back of the grid. That's good going. David Howard behind them. Then David Nixon, Kerry Lewis and Michael Seaborn. And the battling Vic Hope and Jamie Primet in their Hondas. go the leaders through Beckett slapping Mark Finney and Ian Bauer so clearly all is not well with that BMW he's normally a front runner now what can Gary Preble do say so he's in a different class to AJ Owen he doesn't need to pass him for championship points or for glory West if anything is slipping back slightly into the clutches of Don Hughes in the Persia In the second half of this race now, just over five minutes to go. There's Andy Cripps. Here comes James Ram drawing past Carl da uh, Russell Dack. Sorry, Carl Dack. He's racing Milton Hall Stadium. Is there? Don Peerless takes Ross Craig in the hot battle of the Hondas. These three have been scrapping it out all race long. Dan Thackeray ahead of them. Andy Sheraton is lapped in the BMW E30. Next man to be lapped will be Frank Pettit. It's Clio. 1.1 second now the lead margin, so Owen has eked out an advantage over Preble. Take a look at the uh, lap time comparisons for third and fourth, because I think Don Hughes is closing on Ray West. He definitely is. You can see it there at Beckett's. But last lap was two seconds quicker. Here's Jamie Thwaites. Where's he up to now? He's chasing Cam Tunio in his uh, Honda Civic. So is Charles Coppock, the big jag. Little and large battling it out here in the midfield. Behind them is another big jag, that of David Howard, the XJ12 saloon. Pause for appreciation of the Alfa Romeo. So coming into the closing stages now. James Ram getting in among the Hondas, having a go at. Uh, Dan Thackeray in 291. He's got him round the outside. Jag out dragging the smaller Civic in a straight line. There's the battle for third place. That's Ray West. He's still leading the pre-93 category, heading for a double there. There are the leaders. Yes, the gap has opened out now. About uh, four tenths of a second. Owen increased his lead by on that last lap. He also did the fastest lap of the race. 1 minute 14.156. Out to Preble's 114-218 from earlier on. And Hughes is through. Don Hughes has got through into third place. I thought I said he was catching uh, Ray West. 
Peugeot up in the third. So it's pre-03 cars all the way now in the top three. Hughes down to fourth. Forward is up to fifth. And then it's uh, Andy Cripps with the green BMW. Russell Dack in seventh with the BMW Compact. Here's a battle further back. This is for... 13th place between Cam Tunio and Charles Coppock. They're being chased by Jamie Thwaites in the Alpha. Here they come towards Village. Three wide. Look at this. The Civic almost swallowed up there. The big jag on the inside. David Howard watching on. Then Kerry Lewis. Coppock using the grunt of his XJS. Cam Tunio tries to dive back around the outside using the superior handling of the Civic. They come onto the hangar straights now. Power is going to tell here, surely. This is the fight for 13th and 14th. And here comes David Howard, says, well, if you're going to squabble, I'll try and pass you all down the outside. Oh, that's a bit of a squeeze. Alpha, Honda and Jaguar. They've all somehow made it round. I thought somebody was going to get squeezed onto the grass there. That somebody was nearly David Howard. He thought better of it. He backed out. Got the Honda behind him. Jamie Thwaites up the inside. Oh, careful, Jamie. Don't want to damage that Alfa Romeo. He's gone over the gravel on the exit. He nearly took all three of them out there. Oh, dear, oh, dear. He'll have to drop back in behind those two. Let's see if he penalised for gaining an advantage. David Howell will have a go at the Alfa Romeo now. That was close. He nearly had uh, a pile up there into the uh, gravel at uh, Vale. He's kept it running. David Howard will go through, though. Kerry Lewis in his Honda in behind them. Got just over a minute of this race to go now. Owen and Preble, the gap's up to two, over two and a half seconds now. So AJ Owen all set for his double. There is Gary Preble in second place. There's just under a minute to go on the clock. So uh, this may well be the last lap. It's going to be close. They might get one more in after this. There is the one, two, three of AJ Owen, the uh, high Wickham driver. Round the outside to lap James Primitt. Preble's dropped back into second. There's Don Hughes going well in third. He's had a good weekend. Mired in back markers at the moment, though. There's Michael Seaborn about to be lapped in the big XJ40. Ahead of him, Vic Hope in 51. Another Brands Hatch regular over the years in their saloon series. Ray West still leading the pre-93 split in the Jägermeister car. Blue flag being waved at the back markers as here comes AJ. I think we're going to get the chequered flag this time. It's going to be close on time. Five seconds to go as he comes out to club. Wait and see what goes out from the marshals as he comes over the line. No, it is the last lap board, so he was uh, just uh, slightly too early there. We've all got one more lap for AJ Owen. And what's happened to uh, Gary Preble? I didn't see him come through there. Has he had a, an issue somewhere? Or was he just hidden by back markers? Wait to see if he comes through. He's in, he, I think he's in among the back markers somewhere. Jamie Thwaites ahead of Cam Tunio and Kerry Lewis now. There is AJ coming up to lap this little lot. Ah, uh, there's Gary. He was hidden behind a wall of back markers coming through the last corner. That's why I couldn't see him. Well, Ray West is going to win the pre-93 split ahead of Dean Forward. Third in that group is Andy Cripps. It's pre-03, 1-2-3. Here comes AJ Owen. Great fight with Gary Preble in this one early on before pulling away. Comes up to lap David Howard's XJ12. He's got two corners to negotiate now. The left at Vale, the long right at Club. And a perfect start to his title defence in the simply serviced pre-03 Touring Car Championship. The man from Buckinghamshire, AJ Owen, round the final corner, takes the chequered flag, dives over to the pit wall. He nearly hit the pit wall. He dove over so quickly. Carrie Preble comes over in second and Don Hughes third. The win in the pre-93 class sponsored by Laser Tools goes to Ray West in the BMW. And Gary Preble pulls up alongside AJ Owen to congratulate him. A good race between those two. That's good sportsmanship from Gary. We'll confirm the full results shortly as over the line comes the Cosworth of Dean Forward. He takes fifth and second in pre-93. Quite a way back on Ray West, so 15 seconds down. 
sixth over the line, Russell Dack in his BMW. He wins Class C of the Prio 3 zone. This lot is still at it. Charles Coppock, Cam Tunio, Jamie Thwaites and uh, Kerry Lewis. Jamie Thwaites just hoping to finish this time. And he's going to. Seventh has gone to Cripps, then Dan Thackeray eighth in the Battle of the Hondas with Ross Craig and John Peerless. James Rams Jaguar dropping to 11th, the head of Phil Wright, there he is in 12th. 13th place goes to, will go to Charles Coppock, I think. As AJ Owen celebrates a double victory. Here's that battle over the line, Charles Coppock does take 13th, Thwaites 14th from the back and Cam Tunio 15th. Frantic thrash in the midfield there in the latter stages. Hopefully here from AJ Owen once again. Gave us a very wordy interview earlier on. Maybe he's after a co-commentating job, who knows. Here's your result then, provisional results. AJ Owen the winner by, by uh, one and three quarter seconds from Gary Preble. And Don Hughes makes it a pre-03-123. Ray West, the pre-93 split winner in fourth place, ahead of Dean Forward and Russell Dack in sixth. He wins his class, five class winners in the top six. Andy Cripps is next home ahead of Dan Thackeray, Ross Craig and John Peerless, the Honda Civic Trio. James Ram wins his class in the 11th, then Phil Wright, Charles Coppock, Jamie Thwaites from the back of the grid, Cam Tunio completing the top 15. Behind him in 16th was Kerry Lewis ahead of David Howard, then David Nixon in the Rover, Ken Ho uh, Vic Hope in his Honda Civic, Michael Seaborn and Ben Mason, James Primitz, Frank Pettit in the Clio, Andy Sheraton wins his class in his BMW ahead of Mark Finney. Ian Bauer struggled a bit in that one, finished towards the back. And then Steve Barber and Jake Margulies completed the 28 finishers. No retirements in our second pre-93 and 03 race of the day. Great stuff. That's what we like to see, a good, reliable race. And a good race between the two Hondas at the front of the field as well. Gary Preble and race winner AJ Owen. Now, next up, we will see the second race for the Maximum Networks Volkswagen Racing Cup, combined with the Dunlop Touring Car Trophy and TCR UK. Max Hart, the winner first time out. It was Jack Depper who took the VW. As the team's coming out onto the grid, it'll be over to uh, Andy and Paul to take you through that one shortly. Let's hope Ollie Turner on his debut in the VW Racing Cup does get some laps in this time. I'm told that uh, he broke a drive shaft on the grid earlier on. Now let's head down to uh, Steve Jameson in a second. He's got some interviews in the pits. Well, for the second time today, we're joined here by AJ. AJ, that was that was a wild race. <laughs> that had a little bit of everything, didn't it? Talk us through it. Yeah, it was uh, bonkers, to be fair. I just, uh, me and Gary both got ahead of Ray. And then it was a bit like, oh, OK, let's see what Gary's like in clear air. And he, he, and he dropped me initially, and then... Uh, Caught back up and, and Gary's a, a wise old fox at this game, so you've got to do something pretty special to, to get past Gary. And uh, yeah, did a lovely little cut back, and that was it. And, and sort of just kept my head down, but it was uh, you know, the clutch was slipping away on the last lap there, so I don't think the clutch has got much left in it. But that was uh, that was two very hard races, and uh, hopefully for the cameras, it was uh, certainly something good to watch. Well, I was I was watching it from up in the balcony here on on the finish finishing straight and the best thing for me is every time the cars came back around it seemed like we had a new leader it was it was one of those races wasn't it it was back and forth it, we, how difficult was it just to try and stay in the moment and just try and keep yourself in front you just got to when you're sort of in a car like mine you sort of have to be a bit tactical and, and you know we were down the hangar straight three abreast and you just think oh god and look at the slowest out of the two of the, like the three of us mine's the slowest and just just to the inside and then the fast when I got the lead with Gary, it was like, just have to put the car to the inside every time, make him go the long way round and then catch the other cars. But it, you know, it was hard, hard, hard work. It, you know, I don't know what it looked like from the outside, but there was, we were going through turn one, opposite lot, turn two, opposite lot, and the thing was dancing all over the place. But yeah, I, I'm, I didn't think I'd get took a pole I don't think I get two wins I've been saying all week I won't I won't do it I won't do it but, yeah, yeah well I was just brilliant. about to say that leads us in quite nicely we spoke to you after the race one obviously where you got the win you were just delighted to be back great win was a bonus but how do you reflect on this weekend now it couldn't have gone any better right no as, as I say it's sort of a bit of a whirlwind because I didn't expect it I, I thought we would struggle because 
you know, big power circuit, really. Um, but yeah, it's it's yeah, it's one we'll look back on, and certainly with the, the caliber of driver that's in the field as well, it's, uh, yeah. it's certainly a one to cherish for sure. One to be proud of, mate. Congratulations. Cheers. Thank you very much.